Ever wondered what's actually inside that flavorful sausage you love so much? Well, it's a question that has puzzled food lovers for centuries. Sausages, these delectable culinary delights, have a rich history that spans continents and cultures. They are a testament to human ingenuity in preserving and enhancing the taste of meat. From the bratwursts of Germany to the chorizos of Spain, from the Italian sausages to the American hot dogs, sausages have found a place in every corner of the world. But the question remains, how are these global favorites made? What makes them so irresistibly delicious? Is it the meat, the spices, or the method? The answer lies in a unique combination of all these factors and more. Today we are going to unravel this mystery and take you on a journey that's as flavorful as the sausages themselves. So, brace yourselves as we prepare to dive into the fascinating world of sausage making. Welcome to the bustling world of a sausage factory. Can you feel the palpable energy? It's a dance of machinery and culinary artistry that begins with the cornerstone of any good sausage, quality meat. In this world, the hunt for the perfect cut is a serious affair. Our sausage maestros are constantly on the prowl, sourcing locally from trusted farmers who share our commitment to ethical farming practices. Beef, pork, chicken, or turkey, you name it, we have it. Each meat brings its own unique flavor profile and together they form the symphony of taste that is a sausage. Now let's talk hygiene. The cleanliness of a sausage factory is akin to that of a surgical room. Every surface, every tool, every hand that comes into contact with the meat is scrubbed, sanitized, and monitored with a hawk's eye. It's a non-negotiable aspect of the process, and rightly so. After all, we're crafting food that's set to grace your breakfast table, your barbecue parties, your cozy winter dinners. Once the meat is sourced and the hygiene boxes are checked, it's time to bring in the heavy machinery, the meat grinder. This robust contraption is where the magic begins. Large cuts of meat are fed into the grinder, and out comes a uniform, finely minced meat, the blank canvas on which the rest of the sausage-making process is painted. The grinding process is an art in itself. The meat must be ground just right, not too coarse, not too fine. It's a delicate balance to achieve the perfect texture that will carry the flavors and hold its own when cooked. In the hands of our skilled artisans, the meat grinder is not just a machine, it's a tool that transforms simple cuts of meat into the beginnings of a culinary masterpiece. It's a sight to behold, this dance of man and machine, a ballet of gastronomic proportions. Now that we have our ground meat ready, it's time to spice things up. And so we step into the next stage of our sausage-making journey, the symphony of spices. But that's a story for another scene. Stay tuned. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll really appreciate it. A sausage without its signature spice is unthinkable. Now let's talk about the role of spices and flavorings in sausage making. They're more than just an afterthought. They're the soul of the sausage, the magic that turns simple ground meat into a flavor explosion. Imagine a world without the warm, earthy heat of cayenne in your andouille or the sweet fennel seed in your Italian sausage. It's the spices that make each sausage variety unique that give it its character and identity. Now, I can't spill the beans on any trade secrets, but I can tell you that some popular spice combinations include sage, thyme, and black pepper for a classic breakfast sausage, or paprika and garlic for a smoky Spanish chorizo. The art of sausage making is all about balance, the right proportion of meat to fat, and the judicious use of spices to create a harmonious, irresistible flavor profile. With our spice meat ready, it's time to start shaping our sausages. Now comes the part you've been waiting for, creating those familiar sausage shapes. Our journey brings us to an exciting stage in the sausage making process, filling the casings. This is where the magic happens, where the sausage starts to take on its familiar shape. But before we dive in, let's talk casings. There are generally two types of casings used in sausage production, natural and synthetic. Natural casings, as the name suggests, are derived from the intestines of animals, usually pigs, sheep, or cows. They have been used for centuries and are favored by traditionalists for their unique texture and flavor. The natural casings are cleaned, salted, and stored in a controlled environment before they are used to encase our meat mixture. On the other hand, synthetic casings are man-made, usually from collagen, cellulose, or even plastic. These casings are uniform in size, easy to handle, and are perfect for mass production. 
However, they lack the characteristic snap of natural casings, which some sausage aficionados might miss. Now onto the filling process. The meat mixture, which we've carefully seasoned in the previous stage, is pumped into these casings. The rate of filling is controlled to ensure the casing is not overstuffed or underfilled. It's a delicate balance, but with modern machinery, it's a breeze. Once our sausages are filled, it's time to seal them off. The filled casings are twisted at regular intervals to create individual links. This is a skill that takes a bit of practice to master, but once you get the hang of it, it's a rhythmic, almost therapeutic process. Some sausages are then tied off with string for an extra secure seal, while others are simply clipped at the ends. The method of sealing depends on the type of sausage being made, its size, and how it will be cooked or cured. And there you have it. Our sausages are shaped and sealed, ready for the next stage. But remember, our sausages are shaped and sealed, but we're not done yet. Before our sausages are ready to hit the shelves, they need a little more love. Each sausage undergoes a few final steps that truly make it shine, smoking, drying, and packaging. Let's start with smoking. This isn't just for show, it's where our sausages get their distinct, smoky flavor. This process involves exposing the sausages to smoke from burning or smoldering materials, usually wood. The type of wood used can even influence the final taste, adding a layer of complexity to our delicious sausages. Next comes drying. This step helps in preserving the sausages, extending their shelf life. It also enhances the flavor by concentrating it, giving you a more robust and satisfying bite every time, and finally packaging. This is where our sausages are sealed with love and care, ensuring they reach you in the best possible condition. And there you have it, the journey of a sausage from factory to your plate. This is the art of sausage making, a process filled with tradition, dedication, and a whole lot of flavor. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our delicious adventures. Until next time, take care and keep enjoying life's sweetest pleasures.